Hello and welcome to another video. I am here outside of Progressive Field in Cleveland, Ohio, and this is home to one of the worst additions to a ballpark probably ever, and that is the shipping containers in Wright Field. So in this video, we're gonna go take a look at them. And I'm gonna give you a little bit of a background as to why they were built and the future of them, and uh, I hope you'll join me. Okay, so about nine years ago, after several years of declining attendance, uh, Mark Shapiro, who was, I believe, the president of the Indians at the time, uh, decided to unveil a new plan for the ballpark here. Now this was completely paid for by the concession company, Delaware North. So the taxpayers did not foot the bill for this major renovation that went on from 2014 to 20, early 2016, but they ended up adding the shipping containers, which for all of the time that they've been here, most people have just hated them. And it's a good thing the taxpayers didn't pay for that because people would probably be wondering what the hell did they get their money's worth for here. So here they are. Uh, they ended up taking out seats in 10 sections, as you can see. And all those things are up there are just concrete standing platforms. And I've stood on those before and walking up the aisles there, it's like walking through a canyon. They're so towering over you. And you get a look here. Originally in the renderings, they were just supposed to be all blue, but they ended up making them white, which makes them stand out even more. And then they put those green, that green over the middle ones with advertisements and pennants and such. But you can see they really just stand out and don't fit with the ballpark. And people wonder why they don't do like what the Rockies did and add a bunch of bars up there. And that's probably because there's so few games where the seating or seating of fans would even reach anywhere close because they do it one section at a time farther out into the right field as, it go, as they sell more tickets. And there's so few games where they would even reach over there as far as selling tickets that it would even be worth having a bar there because normally anybody there that would be at the bar would be separated from the rest of the fans by hundreds of feet worth of seats. So here's another look at them up close. I've stood up there before. It can hold about maybe 10, 20 people at most. The idea when they built these really was they thought it was just going to be like this place where groups just gathered and, you know, reserved, but it just really never caught on. And now the plans are in the works to finally get rid of these things because there's been such poor reception. And this time around with the renovations, it's going to be at least partially taxpayer funded. So they don't have to worry about footing the bill to tear these things down. So here's a look at them from the side. You can just see three tiers of them, about 10, 12 feet high each. You know, going back to the 90s here when this was first built, you just had sellout after sellout after sellout. Once they started winning, uh, like, what's from 95 to opening day of 2001, every game was sold out and whole seasons were sold out before even the season started. That's how much demand there was here. I'm going to show you a couple other things uh, just to show, illustrate that era to you. So as part of the 2014 renovation, they wiped out this whole entranceway here, which was actually quite an improvement. But there was so much demand in the 90s for tickets that they even put temporary bleachers right here down the center. And then I'm going to show you another expansion they did. And then they even added side sections to the bleachers here. This little angled set sides of seating, those weren't original to the ballpark. Those were added about three years in when they were selling like every game out. So that just goes to show you how much demand there was as opposed to how much there is today. They even chopped off the front of what was called the mezzanine right there those rows used to stick out a lot further and they did it I guess to open up the views a bit but they took out quite a few quality seats there and then they took out more to add the bar 
and a bunch of drink rails. And you can see right there, 455 the fans. That was a tribute to how many games this ballpark sold out at over 42,000 capacity, just night after night. And right there, you can see what I'm talking about, the drink rails. Um, there's no seats there. They're just places for people to stand. Obviously, they can hold people, but not as many than if there were seats there. And they also tore out seats right there for the home plate club as well, reducing capacity more. Now, here's something you're basically never going to see used again. And these are part of what's going to be taken out with the next round of renovations. It's ticket booths. The, this people used to line up at all these booths, get tickets, opening day or whatnot. Even after the sellout streak ended, opening day still always sold out within an hour. Now they can't even sell out opening day until even maybe the day of. I don't even think last year's opening day was really sold out, but they claimed it to be one. And I know. The next one coming in 18 days from today is still not sold out. So it just shows you how big of a fall in just 20 years everything has occurred. So now going to the new renovations that are coming, which they basically got because their lease was running out and they knew they could uh, squeeze some money out of the county, and city and state. Um, they're going to take out those sections over there in left field completely. And they're just going to have a social space or a bar of some sort. Sorry, the wind's blowing real bad. But they're going to take those out and there's not going to be any seats there. And then they're going to take out the shipping container sections. And I think they're going to add a few seats back there, right there, based on the renderings. But it'll be interesting to see what the capacity is of this ballpark after this new round of renovations is done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you a little bit of an idea. Basically, they were built because they thought they were going to be able to rent it out to groups or, you know, make something out of it. Didn't really work out, so they're going to be gone in a year or so. We'll see what happens. Glad they're going away. Oh, as always, thank you for watching.